Hello all. Today we are going to see about a very important use of the Google Meet that we generally use in our classes. Because when we are presenting our class, what we do is we have to share with our students some PDF. We want to show them some material from the book, or we may even want to show them some YouTube videos. But earlier the problem was that the audio that was there on the videos. it was not audible to the students so for that we'll see what are the various options that a teacher has when she is presenting her screen so this is the google meet that i have started and you can see there are three students now what i have done is i have opened uh, the incognito tab and here i have joined as a student so that i can show you a uh, what would be there on the student's screen when i as a teacher is presenting my screen so i am going back to my teacher tab this is the teacher tab and you can see there are various tabs that are open here these are the various tabs now let us go to this uh, bottom right side uh, option which is present now when i click on present now these are the three options and generally we are not very clear what is the difference between these three So today I'll tell you what is the exact difference between these three and what is their usage. So the first option is your entire screen. Now here what will happen is if I am presenting my entire screen, then the student would be able to view everything that I am doing on my screen, whether I am uh, doing something on my desktop or I am using my WhatsApp web or anything. The students would be able to view entire thing. Let me show you how. So I click on my entire screen. I click on this again and click on share. So whatever I'm doing here, everything, whether it's the WhatsApp, web, or anything, it would be all visible to the students. Now, if I don't want that to happen, I want that only few things should be visible to the students. So for that, what we have to do is again go to you are presenting, click on stop presenting, go on present now, and here. click on a window now what do we mean by this is first let me show you this is one window where multiple tabs are opened because i was doing my work and this is the another window where i have opened just two tabs so these are the different windows on my browser okay this is the first window and this is the second window i want that sh student should view only this window because on the previous window i have opened various my personal things also i don't want that to be visible to the audience so what we have to do in that case we never go and present our whole screen we always have to click on a window now when i click on this it would ask me which window you want to share as i have opened three windows the first window is this my personal window with multiple tabs the second is which i actually want to show to my students and the third is the incognito one i want that this particular window should be visible to the students so i will click on that window and click on share now what will happen to the students is i'll just go back to the students tab and show you see the student is able to view only that particular window where only two tabs were opened okay and if i go back to my screen and i go back to my desktop then what would happen the students won't be able to view all this let me show you the student tab so see on the student tab it is coming blank why it is coming blank because that window is not activated so when i as a teacher would go back to that activated window then only the screen would appear on the student screen otherwise if i am doing any other work let me show you i go back to this tab right this is the thing so if i go to the student screen see this particular window is not visible to the students so i can do my personal work but that won't be visible to the audience only the window that i wanted to share with my students is visible this is the specific task of sharing a window so whenever you want that are the selective things should be visible to the students you have to always click on present a window and never on share your screen now i go back to the third option the third option is first i'll click on stop presenting the third and one of the most useful option that has been recently added is to go for this a chrome tab 
Now earlier there was no audio option. If any audio is playing on our device, then the voice was not audible to the uh, students. So uh, I'll click on this a Chrome tab, and you can see these are the various options that are open. So whichever uh, thing I want to show to my students, I can open that. So I'll open this my YouTube channel. I'll click on share, and as soon as I play this. Now what will happen is the students would be able to listen to the audio also let me show you Hello hello let me go to the students tab and show you how it would be visible to the students So today so today let us see how let we can see how we can schedule a meeting on Google on the Google Meet so that so, so that you can see that now the audio is there and you can also share any YouTube video with the students and it would be clearly audible to them so whenever you want to share uh, this particular YouTube any YouTube video then you always click on share a Chrome tab you can see that. on this top side a window is coming a blue window is coming it means that this particular thing has been activated if you want that something else should be presented to the students then what you have to do is you sim simply go there and when you go to some other tab then it would ask you you can see this particular line is coming below the address bar it will ask you do you want to share this tab instead so if you want to switch between the videos just click on share this tab and now this particular video would be visible to the students so the and whenever you want to stop just click on the stop button so these are the various options i hope now it is clear what is the specific uh, function of these three things and these are all three different they are not three synonymous things and one more thing has to be uh, uh, made sure that whenever you click on a chrome tab whenever you click on this a chrome tab then this button is very very important share audio make sure that it has been checked because if it is not checked then the audio would not be uh, uh, audible to the uh, audience right so you have to be very clear whether you want to share the audio or not i hope the video was useful and you can actually make use of various interactive videos and make your uh, teaching and learning very interactive and fun filled thank you so much